Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do your eyeshadow with details with the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 1. Okay, so let's get started. The first shadow I'm going in with is called Jax and this is a dark burgundy shade and I'm using the E22 brush by Morphe and I'm just going to be patting this down onto my lid and make sure you pack on a very good amount. Also, it's important that if you're trying to recreate this look, you actually have a lot of time to do it, like an hour or two. You do not want to do this rushed or you're going to do a very shitty job and we don't want that. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm taking my time to pat this down onto my lid. Do not go above that because if you put this color onto your crease, it's going to start to look darker on your crease and lighter on your lid. If you guys are makeup artists, you know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going in with the shade Hunts and this is a light orange with the E27 brush. And I'm using this to blend out that darker shade on my crease. I'm not taking this down to my lid. It is going to remove some of the shade jacks, but that's okay because we can fix that later on. So right now the important part is when we start blending this out upwards we want to try to apply the most product onto our crease and then slowly start going upwards when we start to run out of product on our brush now as i'm blending i'm going to tell you the reason why we want to finish that product from the brush on our crease because when we start going upwards with the brush you have to make it look smoky. It has to start to look smoky or it's not going to look blended and nice and smooth. See how it's starting to go upwards and it's lighter? That's what we want to do. And we also want to be blending out that outer area. Even if we're going to clean that out with concealer later on, we want this to look as smoky as possible at the top so that it looks blended and there aren't any spots that have darker shades than the others. Now for the next shade, I'm going to be going in with... Roxanne and I'm gonna be using an elf blending brush. I'm not even sure what the brush is called But I'm only gonna be applying this shade onto my crease so that it connects the dark shade and the light shade together if that makes any sense so We always have to choose a middle shade and this right here is my middle shade This darker orange connects to the light orange and the burgundy shade at the bottom so I'm just gonna apply this onto my crease and just keep doing that in windshield motions side to side until it's as blended as you want it to be okay now pay close attention because this step is very important next i'm going in with the e22 again but this time with no eyeshadow color nothing and i'm blending out the color hunts and roxanne together so that it looks smoky and they connect because as you can see the line is still very harsh so this is probably what takes the longest during a tutorial also while we're blending like this leave the color jacks alone that burgundy shade has to be untouched for now next i'm taking the color beam and i'm using this flat brush from wet and wild i believe I'm not sure if it has a specific name and I'm applying this on my brow bone and I'm going back in with that fluffy brush E22 just to blend it out lightly. Now for this step it's a little more complicated. This is the primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the concealer brush JH41 from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill I believe. And when you're doing a cut crease you want to be looking downwards so that you're able to handle your brush a lot easier it's easier for me and it works so it might work for you too and you want to drag your brush downwards the way that i'm doing and just patting it on there you do not want to drag your brush or it can get messy if you're a beginner and we're only going to take this to the middle the center of your eye as you guys can see i'm stopping right there and make sure it kind of dries up a little bit before we start to apply a shade on top of it when you allow it to dry a little bit, it actually lets the shade sit on top of the primer. If you put it on while it's still wet, it can mess up the color of the eyeshadow. It will like smear around and it'll look ugly. So this is the shade Beam again and I'm using a flat brush. This is the same brush I was using earlier and I'm going to be applying this on top of that primer. And apply it on every single spot. 
all the way towards that center of your eye, every single spot so that it's bright. Also, do not listen to all of those tutorials that tell you tap off the excess makeup or whatever because I used to be one of those two and I realized where does the powder go? I look down on my carpet and boom, there's a bunch of eyeshadow on the floor and it's hard to get out. So make sure you have like a little can or something where you can be tapping off the excess makeup and it falls onto there and you don't make a mess. Okay, this step is what's going to give your eyeshadow look a whole other vibe. I'm going back in with the shade Hunts and I'm applying some on that outer area on top of the primer. And make sure it looks smoky, by the way, blend it really good. And then I'm going back in with the shade Roxanne and I'm grabbing only a small amount and I'm applying this on top of Hunts and I'm still letting it peak on the center of my eye as you guys can tell but I want this to be overlaid so that when I apply this shade, the Jax shade, it smoothly goes on top and it applies evenly just like the shade that's on my crease and everywhere else. After this, we're going in with the primer again and I'm just using this to cut out that outer area of my eyeshadow. The reason why I'm doing this is because I personally like my eyeshadow to look very sharp, so I'm using a random concealer brush and I'm just cutting it up <laughs> and then um i applied some mascara the better than sex mascara by Too Faced off camera and i'm going in with these lashes by kj lashes and they're in the style buttercup so yeah while i'm applying my lashes let me just let you guys know if you do not know i have a lip gloss business and my website is down below if you guys are interested in purchasing any um they're really nice and it would really help my small business right now because I'm going through a very, very hard time with my just launched business. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of this eyeshadow tutorial, you guys. This is a finishing look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you guys can leave me a comment down below letting me know that you guys watched the whole thing. The keyword is going to be banana. So type banana down below if you finish this video. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and thank you once again for watching and supporting me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.